One of the exciting things about the dual blade device itself is that it can be used in many different scenarios within the operating room. So if you're combining it with cataract surgery, this is a very elegant device to do that. After the cataract surgery is done, or even prior to the surgery, with positioning of the patient and gonioscopy, a strip of trabecular meshwork can be removed and that could be either preceded by um, cataract surgery or um, cataract surgery can be followed up afterwards. So it really doesn't interfere with the flow of the um, surgical day that a surgeon might have. Combining it with cataract surgery is definitely one of the strengths. I should also say that this device can be used independent of cataract surgery. So if you have a patient who could benefit from unclogging of the drain by using the dual blade, it's something that can be done as a standalone procedure and certainly um, remains very beneficial to the patient by decreasing intraocular pressure. One of the other exciting things that I find uh, with this blade as it uh, becomes uh, more and more available is that there are different forms of glaucoma that would benefit from this device. Primary open angle glaucoma, pseudoxfoliation glaucoma, and pigmentary glaucoma, those are low hanging fruits that we think would benefit right off the bat from this procedure. But it's going to be interesting to see how it performs in other forms of glaucoma, like pediatric cases, uveitic cases, um, other cases that might be combined with cataract surgery where you wouldn't traditionally combine it with an angle procedure. So that's something that we're going to find out um, as we move forward, and I find that to be very exciting.